A Seminole High School student is facing serious charges this morning. Police say he shot a classmate on campus. We're told the victim was shot multiple times and is stable in the hospital. Mark Lehman joins us live now outside the courthouse where the 16-year-old suspect just made his first appearance, Mark. Yes, and uh, during that first appearance, an arraignment was scheduled, and we learned that the suspect's family said they would be hiring their own attorney. All this happening as uh, that team faces some very serious charges after yesterday's shooting. Now, here's video from inside the courtroom as the first appearance was held for 16-year-old Doravia Smith, the judge ordering him to remain in custody for at least the next 30 days. All of this comes after gunfire on the campus of Seminole High School yesterday. Police say student J uh, Javon McIntyre was shot three times and transported to the hospital where he's expected to be okay. Police later identified Smith as the suspect and took him into custody. According to a police report, Smith claimed he had been the victim of bullying since last week. Well, this morning, the victim's grandmother was here during the court hearing, and she said her grandson is doing okay, but still very shaken after being shot. I did speak with my grandson last night, and the first thing he told me was, Grandma, he tried to kill me. You know, so, um, but by the grace of God, he didn't. So both families are going through something right now, and we ask that everybody keep both families lifted up in prayer. Now, the suspect's family was here as well for today's hearing, but they didn't say anything as they left the courtroom. As it stands now, there's still a lot of questions to be answered about uh, what exactly led up to this and how something like this could happen on the campus of Seminole High School. We're working to get more answers today from Sanford Police. Uh, meanwhile, an arraignment for Doravia Smith has been scheduled for February 14th. For now, reporting live in Sanford, Mark Lehman, getting results, News 6.